So I just threw the Iron Man guys on the griddle and was like, hey, I'm filming some stuff, so let's chat about some stuff. So here we it's go. All right, then we'll allow it. They'll allow it. They'll allow it. <laughs> so as you guys have known, you just watched our video. If you didn't, you were supposed to watch it. So stop watching this and go watch the walk around video of the 21 Tundra that's fully kitted with Iron Man stuff. Again, if you haven't watched that, stop watching this and go watch that. But when you're done, come back and watch this one. Uh, so I'm gonna hand off because we did a partnership with Iron Man. We've been a dealer for them for many years now. They make incredible stuff. And so for more Expo 2022, they wanna highlight some new product on not just Toyota stuff, which I don't know if you can see behind us over there. So uh, they've got a lot of stuff here. They got stuff on our 4Runner, stuff on our brand new 2022 Tundra, a 21 Tundra build, and then the Subaru build behind us. But I'm gonna let these guys chat really quick about some of the sweet stuff that they've got mounted on. Quite a few of you. Why'd you do that, Chris? Everybody Come on. In, I'm trying to do a shot. video here. And you just you're just jabbing. <laughs> Give us five seconds. Just let the PA do the talking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now that Chris is done interrupting our video, because obviously he and did that back. on purpose. <laughs> we're back. I'm gonna hand it off to Iron Man so they can show you all the stuff they brought for more 2022. Chris here with Iron Man. We brought uh, some goodies, um, showing off a couple of our new tents right now. So we've got our, our Swift tent on here, which is kind of a traditional um, uh, front pivot uh, A-frame style tent. Um, what's nice about it is you've got T-track all around the tent uh, for maximum utility. You can mount things in the track like lighting, uh, accessories. We've got crossbars that go on the roof of this so you can put uh, treads, kayaks, canoes, whatever, all your toys. That uh, we didn't install. That's all right. We were supposed to, we, we but we didn't. Yeah, Sorry. Forgive Michael. It's all we'll good. show you. Um, but anyway, great, great tent. Super comfortable mattress. It's a good four season tent and um, just, you know, allows you to have a tent on the roof, but not lose the utility of your roof, which is really cool. And again, two latches to set up. So pop the latches, you're up and you're in and you're done. Um, really, really comfortable tent. We um, also have our two meter awning here. Uh, this is uh, basically America's best selling awning. Uh, it, comes with, uh, it comes with lighting um, on a dimmer as well, so you can light up the night. That's all included with the setup. And uh, just a good way to get some uh, quick, easy shelter out of uh, your camp setup. We also brought our new Nomad tent as well. Um, really lightweight, low profile, sleek design. Just great for, you know, just something that's quick and easy to set up. Really spacious, uh, <clears throat> comfortable mattress in there. You've got a, a skylight, which is pretty rad, so you can you know, open it up and see the stars if you get a nice uh, dry night. Um, yeah, let a little light in, let the, let the tent breathe. Uh, comes with these awesome t-shirts, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> comes with these uh, boot bags, so you can put your shoes in there, keep them off the ground and dry underneath the vestibule here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then obviously, uh, really that the piece de resistance is this beautiful green tundra that uh, uh, Michael and Jake and the team put together. Uh, we've got our Foam Cell Pro three and a half inch uh, uh, lift on here. Uh, so we've got our <clears throat> Pro Forge upper control arms, get your uh, your cast angle back in where it needs to be. Uh, our Foam Cell Pro adjustable coilovers. These shocks are uh, about just a, just shy of a three inch diameter shock. So they're just massive, tons of oil capacity, exceptional performance oh, yeah. off-road and on-road so you don't ruin your daily driver. Uh, we also have our Raid Armor package on here. We've got our, our, our Raid uh, bumper on here. Uh, these bumpers are fantastic. Uh, they're fully crash safety tested, Air, SRS airbag compliant. You've got provision for a winch with a fl uh, flip up license plate bracket here as well. Uh, good clutch access. Uh, also with our bumpers, it includes all of uh, the fog lights and the light bar as part of the package and frame mounted rated recovery points. Uh, okay, is, that's a big deal. Must have. Rated recovery points. Tested and rated. Yeah. Rated. So we, uh, because we're an Australian brand, we, we have to go through a, a pretty uh, pretty uh, strict and uh, thorough testing process uh, to our ADR standards. And uh, so yeah, we want to make sure that this functions when you need it to. So we've got recovery points on the front and then on the back of the truck, we've got a matching raid rear bumper. Right here, so uh, what's really cool is, uh, you know, we're working, we're working with uh, your parking sensors. Uh, if you've got a, a truck with parking sensors, uh, lights included, again, ready to recovery points. Still has provision for your factory 
uh, license plate lights and your um, trailer harness just clicks right in there. And you still have uh, maintain your rear receiver. So still able to tow, recover, light at the back. Uh, just a nice solid piece of kit for your truck and uh, they look good. Also still crash safety tested and airbag compliant. And one thing to add to that, a lot of bumpers that you guys will see on the market that remove the factory towing package. From a liability standpoint, you need to look into that because the fact that they're retaining the factory towing point, you're able to legally and safely tow what the vehicle's rated to. Yes, is there bumpers out there that could be made that you know have a receiver built into it? For sure. But as far as a legal and liability standpoint, they have to spend millions of dollars to get rated yeah. like Toyota does. So they utilize the OEM tow receiver so you can use this truck as it was intended from the factory to tow the rated, you know, factory rated towing capacity while having a nice high clearance bumper that also protects the vehicle because it's a nice big steel manufactured bumper. Look, we don't wanna we don't wanna mess with, with the good things that Toyota does. We're just kind of improving on, on what the platform is. So just like Michael said, you know, we, we don't require you to cut your rear cross member out like some bumper manufacturers do. Um, everything just stays where it should be. It's just a bolt-on solution. And then lastly here, we've got um, a, a Subaru Forester uh, with our ATS suspension on it. <clears throat> this uh, is a kind of a game changer for the Subaru crowd. These are a two inch extended travel strut assemblies, front and rear. So it's no, there's no spacers on the struts. This is a longer travel strut, two inches longer travel than stock. Um, obviously in the rear, you have to do a rear subframe alignment kit just to get everything kind of dialed and your CV angle is happy again, but the struts themselves, right longer there. travel, and uh, which allows you to put bigger tires on these things and then uh, thus get some more ground clearance. So it just makes these uh, these Subarus for the Forester, the cross trek and the Outback, just absolute weapons. Yeah. Uh, they look fantastic. And what's crazy is it gives them more ground clearance than like a stock four one, which is pretty nuts. Um, we actually went out as soon as we got this vehicle in. Stock. We've been building a couple of Subarus as of recent. Got this one in, and I was like, let's go bomb it around really quick. Stock. And we're like, okay, cool. Put their suspension on it with slightly larger tires. Holy crap! This rig is totally surprising to us. It just brings them alive. Yeah. I mean, you know, we wanted, you know, so many guys, you know, want to lift these, these rigs and uh, just to get the, edit, the better performance out of them. But, you know, when you do a spacer lift, you're not getting performance, you're just getting height. So Correct. we wanted to. We wanted to give you the height and the performance. Yep. So it's better travel, allows the independent suspension to contour the, the terrain much better, uh, gives you better grip, uh, you know, more mechanical sympathy, you're not destroying the trail as much. Um, it also gives you a payload increase. So we have basically two levels of coils that these things come with. You can do, you can have either our standard ATS medium kit, or we have a, a spec C, for, which is like a constant load or heavy load. So if you've got uh, one of these Subarus that's just full built out, full armor, uh, you know, tire carrier in the rear, uh, you know, tent on the roof or whatever, we've got heavier duty coils for that as well. So keeps that lift. We did a lot of, uh, in the development, we did a lot of the testing at Dirtfish Rally School up in <laughs> Snoqualmie, Washington. That's awesome. um, And then worked with Nate Tennis, their lead uh, rally school instructor, uh, who's got just years and years of experience behind the wheel uh, at speed flogging Subarus um, and other cars. And uh, he was, he, he had some fantastic tests set up that uh, we worked together on. And we just flogged these things to really put them through their paces. And the, the performance that we were getting out of these things is just incredible. Uh, no overheating issues on the, on the strut assemblies at all. I mean, it just, he was blown away. He said it was just as good as, uh, from a performance perspective, as some of his rally suspension that they have on their school cars. They couldn't believe, you know, what kind of performance he was getting out of these cars with our ATS kits for the price. So just a really good value solution that doesn't ruin your daily driver. It just gives it that better performance and handling, you know, better cornering, better um, um, you know, reduction of nose dive and the hard braking. And then, gosh, you get it off on the trail and the back roads and um, this thing can just rally. Absolute blast. So thank you uh, yeah. for uh, uh, Michael and, and team for having us out here. And yeah, come out to the show. Heck yeah. So as you guys have seen, obviously, so many of our builds that we've done as of recent have been super fully kitted with Ironman stuff. Over the years, we have just so enjoyed working with them. If you guys are not familiar with Ironman, go to their website. We're gonna put a link below here. Um, we have done countless builds, Tacoma builds, GX builds, 400 builds, Tundra builds, 
quite a few Subaru builds that we haven't marketed yet because we've been kind of soft testing it, but we're in now because these things are awesome. Um, they've got a lot of new stuff coming as well. There's stuff that I'm not going to tell you that I saw, but be flipping stoked. The new stuff that they're coming out with, especially in regards to their Raid Series bumpers, is awesome. And the things is, the far as the platforms that we've shown you here, like I mentioned, we've done tons, I mean like pallets upon pallets upon pallets of Tacoma builds with all super stoked customers that are like, oh my gosh, this truck rides incredible. And not only does it ride incredible, it handles weight great. So many suspensions out there will ride really good. And then as soon as you put some weight on it, and it kind of the, the, you know, the comfort and the drivability of the vehicle really degrades. Not the case with our Ironman kits that we've done on so many builds. So there's another vehicle over here. You can see they may or may not be having some stuff come out for that. Maybe, I don't know. You might want to follow along. They might be, maybe, you know, those vehicles over there, they might have some stuff <clears throat> coming down the pipeline. I don't know. You might just want to follow along. Just watch, okay? So I've been, again, so stoked to be working with these guys. Um, we are very selective with the companies that we are dealers for um, and the companies, the stuff that we install, because as far as putting our name on it, when we're putting somebody else's brand, you know, product in the vehicle, we want to also comfortably and confidently put our name behind that build as well. Um, so after years and years now of working with these guys, we are super stoked to be working with them and they make incredible stuff. So go to their website below. And if you're at more expo because you're walking around you're seeing the banners and you go oh let me go click and watch this video if you're there check this out show special and if you're watching this after the show and you're like oh i missed out i wasn't there because i was lame you're not lame just saying that okay if you did miss out though shoot us a call we stock their stuff we have pallets of stuff we'll work a deal for you we'll get a kit doesn't matter where you are we'll get it installed for you come on down to kansas city missouri we'll get you taken care of Adventure Motors, your Toyota specialists. And uh, I think that's it. Are we done? Let's go time. We're done. More 22. Thanks, Chris, for interrupting us twice or maybe even three times. I love you. Okay, bye.